So I've been making the run back and forth to, Orla uh, from, to and from Orlando for seven years. And, um, and th this is one of my favorite cities in Florida, so it's really a delight to be here. Um, I'm dressed pretty formally, but this will be an informal session. It, it's truly a workshop. I would encourage you to ask a lot of questions. The interaction between people is always fabulous. There may be a question or comment that you've got or want to make that's on somebody else's mind. So feel free to raise your hand and, and uh, make yourself heard. I will answer all the questions you've got. And um, if it's something related specifically to your business, I'll stay after and answer those questions, okay? But if it's something general that you think would be of interest to everyone, go ahead and ask the question, okay? Are we good? Yeah? Okay. A couple of housekeeping things. First is uh, many of you probably carry around something that looks similar to this. Uh, if you would, put it on silent, please. That would be fantastic. Um, you all should have a workbook. We'll be using this throughout the session. So um, be ready. You'll have some exercises to go through. We'll be comparing notes. And on the inside of the workbook is a sheet of paper that looks something like this. Uh, it's an event evaluation form. I truly value your comments and hope that you'll uh, leave the event evaluation form behind for me. Uh, and one other thing is if you are a constant contact user today or have been, there's a spot here for a username. Enter in your username and I'll add you to my partner list. We have about 500 businesses that are partners of my company. And what that allows you to do is get access to me for some additional help that you might need. The Constant Contact folks are fabulous. If you've ever called their support team, they are the best in the industry, by far. But if you need additional help, maybe it's off hours, you have something special, you're worried you may be in a queue, if you call the 800 number, just call me direct and I'll help you out, okay? Ready to get started? Here is my contact information. I'm going to ask you to do the very first thing with your workbook. And that is to write down my name and phone number down at the bottom. And um, the reason is that you may get back to your office or your business or back home uh, and you'll say, what was that guy's name again? How do I reach him? And this way it'll be right on the workbook. So go ahead and write that down. I'll give you a second. You can see my other contact information there. And if you go, uh, if, has anybody checked Twitter this morning? No, not yet. Hashtag Sarasota, you'll, sign, you'll see something I posted about this event. Uh, it should have gone out at about 7.30 this morning. Using a tool you'll hear about a little bit later on. A lot of the stuff that you'll learn about this morning are things that are automated. So these are the kinds of things that enable you to focus on what you like to do best, which is run your business and not spend your life worrying about, gee, I need to be at a computer at 9.45 to send out that email. All right? Can you read your phone number? I'm sorry. Oh, sure. It is 407-242-4200. Okay? Good? All right. Here's a little bit about my own background, just to give you a sense of where I came from and what I'm doing today. I spent about 20 years at Motorola. Has anybody heard of Motorola? Mm -hmm. Yeah, a couple of you. Uh, Marriott? couple years there, CVS, Caremark, um, and a company called Datamax O'Neill. I've been consulting off and on now for about uh, 12 years. We're actually in our 13th year, and these are some of the clients uh, that I've worked with. Um, do any of you get a monthly newsletter, email newsletter from Verizon? No? Yeah, one? I write that. Uh, it goes to about a half a million businesses around the country. So, uh, you know, I really enjoy what I do. We're truly a full-service marketing and communications company. So if there's anything at all that you need related to helping you grow your business, um, you know, feel free to give us a call. I do not work for Constant Contact. I'm independent. I'm one of their uh, national experts. Uh, there are just a couple hundred of us around the country. So I go around the country presenting seminars like this. So I'm not here to sell you anything. So if you came here thinking you're going to be pitched, sorry to disappoint you. 
Um, but there is, I will be showing you a special offer at the end of the seminar. I just wanted to bring to your attention some of the other products that Constant Contact uh, offers. Constant Contact, uh, who's the sponsor of this event, uh, is mostly known for email marketing services. They are the 800-pound gorilla in the industry. They have over half a million businesses that use their service for email alone. EventSpot is a product that allows you to register for an event online that you can reserve your seat, you can pay in advance. There are lots of things you could do. Did anybody sign up online for this event? Yeah, you probably used EventSpot without really knowing it. Social campaigns is a way to integrate your email campaign with social media like Facebook. And it works extraordinarily well in that it helps you integrate the two so that someone can join your newsletter list from Facebook. Someone using your, uh, responding to your email can sign up for Facebook right there, like your page on Facebook. Uh, save local. Has anybody heard of Groupon or Living Social? Save Local is Constant Contact's answer to those products, but it works very differently. The way a Groupon works is, let's say you have a product or service you're looking to sell. You normally sell it for $200. And through Groupon, you offer, let's say, 60% off. So what does that make it, $80? Right? Well, out of that $80, you only get half. Groupon gets the other half. So on that $200 item, you get 40. With Save Local, you could do the same deal. $200 item, discounted 60%, you only pay $3. So you would retain $77. Okay? This is per use only, you don't pay a monthly subscription. Single platform, does anybody have a website? Come on. Okay, if you have a brick and mortar store and let's say you're open from 9 to 5 and then you change the hours, so you're open 9 to 6 or 10 to 7, if you change that, the hours on your website, your website gets published by lots of different publishers. They may be Google and Bing and Yahoo and YP and Dex and a bunch of other ones. Unless you're using a service, it will take sometimes quite a bit of time for your website information to be updated across all those directories. Single platform watches your site, watches for changes, and they go and make all the other changes for you automatically. Uh, you pay an annual fee, I think it's about $495, but if you think in terms of just a couple sales that you might have made or missed based on your website information not being accurate someplace, it's money well spent. Online survey, another great product. If you've used SurveyMonkey or if you've used Zoomerang, uh, this is Constant Contact's product. The way it works is it integrates totally with your contacts and images that are stored in your Constant Contact account. Is this your laptop? Aha! Uh -huh. It is the chamber laptop, and here's a power cord. And I'm glad you brought that to my attention. Otherwise, we would be in trouble, wouldn't we? Where is the power? Where is the power? <laughs> Sit over in the back here. You got it. Okay. Are we good? All right. Da -da. You know, you always have to expect the unexpected. Okay. So, are we ready? I've got a video I'd like to share with you. I think you'll enjoy this one.
Welcome to the social media revolution. Anybody learn anything in that video? What's that social <laughs> shadow or whatever, kids? Digital shadow? That means that people under the age of two have had their picture taken and posted on Facebook, as one example. Let me do this. Okay. So, um, pretty interesting information, isn't it? And that's one of the reasons you're here today. Email marketing is synonymous with social media. They work very well together. Most people consider email marketing to be social media as well. So, now we'll get into the heart of the presentation. Everybody ready to go? Yeah? I may at some point shed my jacket, because it's a little warm in here, and you guys aren't quite as formal as I am this morning. Do it now? Who votes do it now? Oh, thank you. I, I, I may do that. I may do that. Okay. Um, by the way, if you have not uh, dropped a business card into that bowl that was outside, I don't know where it is right now, uh, we'll be drawing for a copy of this book later in the morning. And I may have a couple trivia questions that will make that other book go away too. Okay, here we go. Who here has for heard of Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter? Anybody? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. And how about Pinterest, Instagram, and YouTube? Yes. Yeah? Anybody using any of these? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Did you know that Pinterest has, an the users of Pinterest have an average household income of $100,000 plus? Mm -hmm. Did you know that? 80% of Pinterest users in the United States are? Women. Women. That's absolutely correct. And um, for all these others, they are just growing so quickly. By the way, another note on Pinterest, it hit 10 million users faster than any other social media tool. Pretty cool. So if your business is one that is targeting people with that kind of income level, you need to be on Pinterest if you're not already. Facebook, how many users? Total? Global? A billion. Yeah, one billion. LinkedIn? 200 million plus. <laughs> Same for Twitter. So when we think about social media, this is big. And what you're going to learn today is how to integrate your email marketing campaign to your social media campaign and really leverage the power of some fabulous free tools. It's all tied together with email. 77% of consumers prefer to be marketed to with email. Think about that. 77%. That's a big number. And people say, well, why, why is it that big? Isn't social media big? Well, yes, yeah, social media is big. But if you don't see that social media post about the time it got posted, you miss it, right? Where an email stays in your inbox until you decide to do something with it. Open it, forward it, click it, delete it, whatever, okay? So that is why email continues to be one of the most powerful tools. Here's something else you need to know. Conversion, lead to sale, okay? From the time someone becomes a lead until you close them as a sale. Four to one, email over social media. Four to one. Social media's return on your investment, $87 for every dollar you spend. Pretty powerful. I wish my stock market investments would do something like that. Take a look at this. 4.8 billion out of 6 billion people on the planet have a mobile device. Look at that. Uh-oh. <laughs> More people have a mobile device than have a toothbrush. So mobile technology is very pervasive, and it's something that you need to be thinking about every time you're doing your campaigning. 42% of people check their email on a mobile device. 42%, that's nearly half. By the way, that number until just a few months ago was 38. So it's growing rapidly. Has anybody checked their email this morning? Mm -hmm. Anybody <laughs> since they've been here? Go ahead, yeah, right? So. People are constantly checking their email. It's a very important thing for all of us. Marketing has changed in the last 5, 10, 20 years. Would you agree? You know, it used to be that you would, as a marketer, you'd create a bunch of material, 
postcards, direct mail, flyers, brochures, and you know, we used to say you'd throw it against the wall and hope something would stick. Well, it's not like that anymore. Things are very, very different. We used to try to cast a wide net to try to find a few customers and convert them and hopefully keep a few. The rules have changed. Now, we use things like email marketing and social media marketing to find a few customers and convert them, clients, and convert them to customers. And when we keep them, they begin to be the people that spread the good word about our businesses. So we've turned the sales funnel upside down. Now you look for a few really loyal, raving fan type customers and then get them to talk about you on social media. So this is the way things used to be. You used to use direct mail and online advertising and you'd spend a lot of money to build a great website and you blog and SEO and a lot of that still goes on to get them to come to your door front. But now, when they get to you and you create a wow experience for them, then you have an opportunity to entice them to stay in touch with you. And how do you do that? You get them to sign up for your email marketing newsletter. You get them to follow you on Facebook. You get them to follow you on LinkedIn and all the rest. Once you get them engaged, the cycle continues. Because once they're following you, they start to expand your social visibility. When they like your postings, when they share your material, and then that invites new prospects, and then the cycle starts again. But how much money have you spent doing this? How much does your Facebook account cost? Nothing. It's a lot cheaper than direct mail, isn't it? You'll find a lot more about this kind of information in the book that you see here on the counters, Engagement Marketing. It was written by Constant Contact's CEO, Gail Goodman. It's really a good read. So I encourage you to drop your business card in the, in the thing, and you, in the bowl, and you'll be able to get a copy, hopefully. Uh, but if not, it's available on Amazon, and it's really, really well done. So today we talk about word of mouth as engagement. Engaging your prospects, engaging your audience, engaging your clients, engaging sales. Where before, we would think about it as talking over the backyard fence. Right? You'd tell your friends and neighbors about who you were doing business with. And it pretty well stopped there because they often wouldn't remember to go tell their friends and family, right? Today we use these tools. We use Facebook and we use email and we use Twitter and we use something called Google+. Does anybody know how many users Google Plus has already? It's only been around 18 months. Any guesses? 600 million. It's the second largest social media tool out there, and yet not very many people know about it. If you have a Gmail account, you're counted in that 600 million, by the way. But the actual users of Google Plus are already surpassing 100 million per month. So it's another tool to keep your eye on. We do seminars on all of these social media to teach you exactly how to use them for your business. But this is one you really need to know about because you know, they're taking on everybody, aren't they? Google is taking on Apple. They're taking